Hey guys, just a quick uh, addition to my firewall forward tour. Sonics builder Jack Wagman had a question about the fuel filler neck. So let me show what the situation is here. So the, the fuel filler is down in here. There's a plate, it's just a rectangular plate with some flanges that run up on the sides here. And it just, it just sits down inside and kind of curves up like this. I've got a hole around the filler neck come through. You can see how it just kind of sits right down there like that. And I've also got another hole for the, the fuel vent. And it's literally sitting on the very top of that filler neck plastic. So that's how that works there. You want to use a, a gray fuel proof RTV to seal all this up and make sure you get into the corners and just smear everything and make a, a nice little well that is fuel proof. You can also use a product called the right stuff. It's a, it's an RTV sealant. You can get it from most auto parts stores. It's black and kind of, kind of looks like a miniature caulking tube. That stuff works even better. That stuff is extremely fuel resistant. You put it on there, sticks great, very fuel resistant. The other thing Jack had a question was, was on the CHT probes. So you've seen my hinge baffles here before. Pull these pins and the hinge baffle This baffle allows this to, to flop down. And he asked about where the CHTs were run. So I'm mounting them on the head bolt here. Now Jabiru recommends putting them on this little, let's see if I can see it here, that little hole right there in the middle, below the bolt, right there. Threading that and attaching it to there. That's a good location, uh, kind of hard to get to. Mine were not already threaded, so I use that head bolt. And you can see how the probe is just stuck in between the, the fins. I had to bend the fin out slightly right there to make room for it. And then it just routes on back. I've just got them bundled up and they just go out the back. There's the rear one. They come out the back and they come out back side of the baffle right there and then go into the loom to the wiring so that's the second thing that Jack asked about and lastly was the canopy standoffs so the idea on these standoffs is that the bow doesn't sit real tight up against the plastic and so rather than try to bend the bow or do something to make that fit better I just use these little black sections of rubber fuel hose and just cut them in random lengths and just fit them in there trial and error until one takes up that slack perfectly. That provides some rubber isolation and it's not clamped down tight against the bow. You never have to worry about the bow not fitting exactly right and allows you to adjust your canopy to get that perfect fit regardless of what the bow is doing. So super easy to do. Um, th they get thinner as the gap starts to disappear. This one here is real hard to see but it's just a, almost like a rubber washer at that point. And then these are about three eighths of an inch. That one's maybe a half inch. That's probably the tallest one right there. So super easy. Lock your screws with a little drop of epoxy. Don't use Loctite, use epoxy on the threads. It works great. Hope this helps.